We are definitely in a worst case scenario situation. I think most of you will agree, getting stranded sucks. Things can be more stressful when your family is depending on you. It's a Sunday, 6.32 in the afternoon. The sun is going down. We're in the middle of nowhere at the East Cut. Nobody's here. And for some reason, Sandy is not, she doesn't want to start. We are definitely concerned. Right now, Carlos, Samantha's boyfriend, he took off running over to the jetties over there on the other side to try to see if anyone over there can help us out. If they have any jumper cables or a tow rope. Well, I have a tow rope, but if they're willing to come over here and tow us out of here. But uh, this thing is completely dead right now. It's, it's, there's something electrical something deeper than than just a dead battery because the battery is brand new the terminals are in great shape so yeah i don't know how we're gonna get out of this one taking a look back at my comments i feel speculating that this was more than a dead battery was probably just my pessimistic thoughts getting the best of me i'm not a mechanic and making that assessment probably wasn't right So, yeah, it's 6.39, time's running slow. I can see Carlos coming over here with a couple of other gentlemen. Uh, they probably weren't able to drive their vehicle over here, but they seem to be bringing some sort of battery charger, hopefully something that will get this thing kick-started. Once again, that might not even be the solution. This, this thing might really be dead. Like it, it just, I'm thinking it could even be the starter. So I don't wanna be like all pessimistic, but I'm being very realistic because uh, that battery is in good shape. Those terminals are in good shape. Nothing was left on, the lights weren't on. Are you sure about that? <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, let's figure this out. Maybe the battery was dead after a certain someone left his rear door and window open and the auxiliary lights on for nine hours straight. Okay, guys, this is what it's all about. So, we got some good Samaritans, just like we've stopped to help other people in the past. We got some people that happen to have a little generator and a battery charger. So we're going to give it a try and uh, we're going to try to see if uh, we can get Sandy working again. Hey guys, so now what we're doing is we're just waiting to see if uh, Sandy is going to uh, actually accept that charge and uh, that charger this is an example i want i really want to highlight this this is an example of good people of the fishing community that will do just about anything to help out someone who's stranded some, someone that's that uh, that actually needs some help so we're here with a couple of uh, awesome young men here what's your name sir caesar we got caesar and mauricio caesar and mauricio and I bet, I bet you anything that you guys are not gonna guess where these guys are, bo uh, these boys are from. But let me give you a hint. You probably have this for breakfast at least once a week. They're no that's the that's a little community. So if you know what it is, please post down below. Go ahead and comment. Let me see if you can guess it right, man. I'll give you another hint. It's close to Edinburgh. So remember. Chorizo, close to Edinburgh. All right. Anyway, hey guys, thank you so much. You, you guys have been all coming right, here all the, all the time, right? I mean, uh, you encounter stuff like that. Obviously, you guys were prepared. Today. Yeah. We, we always like to help people, man. That's our. It feels good to help people. I mean, that's hard to say because you never know. If I see you here, you're gonna remember. You're gonna you're gonna remember that. Oh, they helped me. They need some help also. 
absolutely and you know right now the sun is going down these guys are out here as well you know they're they're just here to enjoy the afternoon but uh i'm, I'm so happy i'm so blessed this is a lesson for me you know i will never ever leave home without a charger i got just about everything and i'm always bragging about oh i'm prepared about this i got that i got this yeah bro what about the simplest thing like a battery charger and i would honestly i would never in a million years think that my vehicle my battery was going to be dead i mean the damn you know battery hasn't even it's not even a year old so but anything can happen out here and you need to be prepared for just about everything is there a reason why uh, you guys brought the charger have you ever seen anything like this it happens to us also it always happens to us sometimes so we just can't prepare that's it we have everything we have lights around us people people to help out you see what i'm talking about you know it's uh it's experience guys it's experience once it once it happens to you once it'll you're never gonna let it happen to you again and i promise you that it's not over yet let's see what happens I was smiling, but I was deeply concerned. Sandy wasn't starting, and I knew there was a chance we were screwed. Cesar and Mauricio convinced their friend Jose to drive his truck over to our spot to give it another try with jumper cables. Okay. Hey, he probably also came because he wanted to try this spot. Oh. <laughs> so my brother probably told him, hey, it's good over there, let's go. I don't care why he's coming over here, whether it's for fishing or to help me out, man. I appreciate the gesture, but look at that sun, man. That's It's a beautiful sunset, but it's not beautiful when it's setting down on you and your vehicle is out of commission. So let's see, let's see if it happens. Here he comes. At this point, I didn't care about shooting video. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> So our buddy over here, he ventures, he makes it across in his, uh, in his rig over here in his truck. He gets here and he's like, I don't want to go over there because it's really soft. The sand's really soft. It's really risky. I don't know if I can make it. So what happens? As soon as he gets here, as soon as he gets here, Sandy decides to turn on. I don't care, man. I'm just happy. This was uh, shitting bricks time, man. But we did it. ¿Cómo se llama, sir? Jose. Jose. Jose right here. Thank you, Jose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Caesar. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. What's your name again? Mauricio. Mauricio. Oh, Shingo. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Now it's time to try to get the hell out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. I've had enough adventure, man. before anything bad happens. What an adventure, man. What a shitty adventure. It's not over yet. Did you text everybody, Sam? This is a lesson learned, man. That's where the hole is on the other side that they're talking about. So you have to take it on this side. Beautiful. Everybody's uh, raising windows and shit. God bless you! Yeah, of course! Do our little... Our little going home rant. Our little victory dance, perhaps? Yeah, what we're always talking about. Shoot. Come on, damn it. Uh, Carlos? Yeah. You're there? You're alive? Yeah. Okay. Lesson learned man
lesson learned. Don't ever come out here without <laughs> a battery charger. Oh my God, what a nightmare. How scary was that? Those are the only people out here. They were prepared because they had already gone through this in the past. I'm always bragging, I'm always talking about, ah, I got max tracks, I got you know, a shovel, I got a first aid kit, I got a bunch of stuff here. I thought I was ready. I got water, I got generator, I got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, dude, what about your battery? That's that's lame. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna remedy that. I'm gonna remedy that, and this shit is never gonna happen to me again. This was scary. This was a close one. And uh, but you know, we persevered. Everything was fine. Now let's see if we can make it out of uh, out of this mess because it's still it's not over. If you like our content, please subscribe, share, and hit that like button. I'm including the uncut drive home along the beach. You're welcome to keep watching and come along for the ride. Also, remember, I will be out at the East Cut from October 12 to October 17 if you want to drop by and say hello. I'd love to hear from you and perhaps learn a thing or two. Well, here we go again. Tide is a little high. Let's see. It's already starting to come in. We had plans to go home earlier to beat the high tide, but now, because of the delays, we're having to go through this but it's still not that bad not as bad as like the first time we came over here as you all remember in our video number two of our series talk about not being over till it's over dude this is really soft sand dude Sand crabs. Can you see them? guys nail biting that high tide is coming in 
sand is extremely loose all over and there's darkness we don't know what's we don't know what's in the roadway as you can see there's logs and all sorts of debris and that can have devastating consequences if we hit it or we run over it and it can really do a number on your on your belly on the undercarriage of your vehicle guys can't see right now is Samantha being an eagle eye really helping her dad by keeping an eye out for debris giving me the heads up just in case I miss something log is right sweetheart so guys I do not recommend that you guys drive at night out here on Beach Axis 6 especially when the high tide is coming in well, once again this was not our intention but because of mechanical issues this is where we find ourselves it's starting to rain too or is that my imagination I see droplets it's terrible that was a tricky log that was um, it wasn't horizontally opposed it was vertical so we could have just ran it over because it looked like just a regular round thing we're looking at the one end of the log there my goodness like playing a video game here you have all these obstacles yeah all we need is zombies Carlos says Carlos stop it <laughs> log. log 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 now here's a technique that I'm using guys I don't know if you noticed but I'm not using my brakes I don't use my brakes use your brakes and you're probably going to dig in to the sand and you're probably going to get yourself in a bit of a situation so what I do is I just ride it out I just ride it out best I can if I really do have to slam on the brakes well you know that's inevitable but I'm going to do my very best to avoid that Okay, this is some really, really rough stuff right here. Right. You're good. Log. Log is right. 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 Log is right.
up to the right. I can see some tail lights way down over there. But look at this, man. Look at how close that surf is to the vehicle right now. That's nasty. Hmm. I really don't know how well this video is going to come out. I don't know how much you guys can see because the visibility is very poor. But I can tell you, you know, I got both hands on the wheel. And we, this, this uh, beach has our attention. It definitely has our attention. We are focused up. I hope those people aren't stuck up there. If they are. We have no conditions. Yeah, I don't know. But we got to at least stop and ask if we can help somehow. We've been blessed. We were Go helped. To the right. We should do the same for other people. What the hell is that? Is that a dog? I hope. That's a huge. going on is, is it storming or it's just mist, it's just mist? There are any birds yeah true guys it's gonna be like oh no oh there's a turtle is it oh. no total Dude, that's nasty. say that the worst part is over but you never know
Barely? Yeah. Holy sh Nikes. I thought we were further down. Yeah, me too. Family was all chill and I shit. Know. <laughs> they live for extreme shit. Coyote, you see it? Yeah. Look at him. Yeah, you got to see a coyote. <laughs> Every girl's dream. <laughs> Look at it. You still there? Yeah, he's like, come on, come on. And <laughs> show the ones that almost got stranded. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Pelicans told me about you. Give me that big fat boy. I hear he loves the fat. It's real nice and greasy. Hey, Coyote, stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Are you awake?
minutes. You see that? Just fucking off. Okay. Yeah. Turtle? 